Alright guys, how you guys doing today? Today I'm going to do a review or a My Thoughts video on the Western Digital My Passport and this is the My Passport Essential Generation 1 Now just to recap, there's about 5 different My Passport versions at the moment The first one is My Passport Essential The next one is the My Passport Essential SE Then you've got the My Passport Elite Then you've got one version for the Mac and then you've got the top end one is a studio edition uh, and within the first category which is the My Passport Essential this one here you've got a first generation one I think it used to be called a studio until they've done the rebranding and now it's known as the Essential but um, this generation is lo no longer sold I believe I think it's no longer on the production lines so if you're ideally going to get one of these you're probably going to get the one that uh, DRB UK, he just purchased one so it's a smaller one, it's slightly smaller in height and the width is a bit bigger but essentially it is the same thing. Now I was watching this review and I thought you know why haven't I done one or I think it should be a good time now I do my review on it and he brings out some good interesting points on his video and I just want to go over some of the things he brings out and share my views on it. One of the things DRB UK brought out uh, and his review was that this cable was easily coming out it's safe to say that this version does not have the same issue yes the, the cable moves but in no way is it going to come out I would say it's quite sturdy inside and there's no chance even although the USB cable is about that much uh, I don't really have a problem with that mainly because these drives are realistically made for portable machines and to have a big wire or too many wires on this drive defeats the purpose of having a portable machine so I think this is good it stays in there very nicely one of the next things DRB UK brought out was the actual look or the actual build of the My Passports and uh, safe to say this one again is the glossy edition and I would say it's actually pretty strong contrary to what he said this is strong in my opinion I've had this for maybe about you know five to six months, can't even remember anymore. But it's got a few scratches on it, um, even although I haven't been taking it away with me. It's always just been in my house or in my room, and I don't know if how clear it's coming out in this video. I'm trying to give you the best sort of angle, but it does have a fair few scratches. Safe to say, I say fair, but it has got quite a lot of scratches. Um, now. I don't know, well obviously it's not going to damage the insides of this but still it's it's really not noticeable until you really look forward to you know when you look at it I mean I didn't know about these scratches until I thought okay let's do a review on it and I've noticed them now and yes you get a lot of fingerprints as you can probably see for the video but um, and from what I got from DRB UK's video was that he wasn't happy with the build quality it was too light possibly it was cheap, but when I got this back, if, you know, five or six months ago, I was impressed by the build quality. I think it's fantastic. It's got grips at the bottom as well, so it's not, you know, that likely to move. If you put it the other way, it's going to move. I'm actually really happy with the build quality. I'm happy with the size. You've got 320 gigs. Should have probably said that at the start. This is the 320 gig version. And I've always sort of used Western Digital um, in the past. As you can see from your left hand side, I've also got a Western Digital Elements, which is a big chunky um, hard drive, external hard drive. It's externally powered. It's got 500 gigs, same speed, 7200 RPM. And one of the main gripes that I have with that, the Western Digital Elements hard drive, is that it's too big too many cables coming out of it and it's not something you can carry about with you on a day to day basis the pro to that is is that I find that machine a bit faster when you're transferring files onto it or transferring files onto your hard drive from it this one here is fantastic for time machine backups but it's, it's, it's slow compared to that one there and if you've not got two hard drives you won't notice it probably but me having this hard drive here and that hard drive there it's very noticeable in that this one is slow presumably because it's a smaller version it's a 2.5 inch hard drive inside it 
Should you go out and buy it? I would say yes, it's probably safe to go out and buy it. It's, again, the form factor of it, put it in your jeans, as the RBUK said, carry it with you. Easy to carry around, you've got so much space. I mean, this is a 320 gig, goes all the way up to 640. And if you were to go for the My Essentials SE, that goes up to one terabyte, all in your one hand, so you can't go wrong. And I've pretty much always used Western Digital, even I've got two externals, I've got a Western Digital in my MacBook Pro. That there has got 320 gig, which I purchased at a later stage from uh, eBuy, I think it was. It's working a treat, no issues whatsoever. So, I, you know, I'm a big fan of um, Western Digital. Go out and buy it, and the support on it is pretty good. If you were to buy one of these brand new, you would get two years on it. And if you got the My Passport Elite, you would get three years on it. And if, you know, if you were to go for the Studio Edition, that's got five years on it. A bit too much, I think. But hey, you can't complain for that, you know, that time of support. Um, why I didn't go for the Mac um, version... I didn't think there was a Mac edition. Uh, I always thought these drives would work with any machine regardless. But again, my opinions on the Mac edition is simply marketing. Some people are just really in the nicest way possible, stupid or thick, um, because they don't understand how to do it. Which is fair enough, um, not every person is the same as yourself. And some people just don't want to go through the hassle of clicking one or two buttons. And for that, they've made or catered for a niche, I guess. Uh, and yeah, the purpose of having a Mac edition is so they can shove them in Apple stores, people come across them, buy them. I don't think I've seen one of the other My Passports other than the Mac edition in the Apple store. Uh, it kind of makes sense, I guess, but yeah, Western Digital is, you know, specifically focusing on one area of, um, of, of the market, which is the Mac people. And, you know, this versus the Mac edition is probably no difference, zero difference, nothing. It's just the way they're marketing their stuff. But anyways, what hard drive do you have? Do you have this? Do post a video response. What hard drive do you recommend? And yeah, thanks for watching. Remember you can also join me on twitter.com slash i6 region and feel free to post your comments and your thoughts on this hard drive or the hard drive that you have. Thanks for watching. Cheers.